Okay, so good day to all of you. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use union in an Arduino sketch. Okay, for a conceptual definition, so union, just like a structure, can store different data types. The only distinguishable characteristic of a union data type is that if you're going to use it, it will only store one data or one value at a time, uh, even though it has uh, the, the data types that it contains has already values. So let's look of how does the union do this, its distinguishable characteristic from the structure. So we have a Arduino sketch that uses union. So to use union, you have to declare it outside the void setup or the void loop. So it's a global variable. So we have union. Name of the union data type is sum underscore data. And then left curly bracket. And then the content of union is int i, integer i, double d. And then car s we have 20 and then of course this is a uh, date or data rather okay and then put a semicolon so let's go back with this block of code for the union so union so the name is some data and then since it is a block, you need to have a left and right curly brackets. And then for this example, we've declared or we put data types inside union data, data type, which is int i, double d, and a character array with 20 that, that can contain 20 elements or 20 characters. So just like a structure, Union can store different data types because we have for the integer, we have for the double, and we have for character, specifically a character array. So, we've already declared the union data type. So, in our void setup, so we're going to use a serial monitor. So, let's initialize our serial monitor again with serial that begin with a baud rate of 9600 and then next is we have union sum underscore data my data so this line of code means you're going to use or you're going to call the union data type sum data and then you have to name a separate uh, name for your uh, since you're going to use the union data type so the name is my data and then next is my data that i is equal to 42 since my data is using the union sum data uh, the sum data data type so so it's already a union so my data that i means this 42 will be stored to the integer counterpart of some data in int i. So that's the meaning of this line of code. And then next is my data dot d is equal to 3.14 or pi. So this 3.14 will be stored in the uh, union sum data in double d. So that's why d then double d. And then last but not least is we have str cop str copy uh, str cpy means string copy. We have my data dot s and then the string is Arduino. So what does this line of code code mean? So we have str copy string copy. So meaning you're going to copy a string, which is for this, uh, the parameter is you're going to copy the Arduino going to mydata.s. So it will be stored here in char, uh, character array with 20 elements. 
So since this is of course um, a string, you have to use the command str cpy or string copy. So we've already um, put values for int i, double d, and the character array s. Okay, next is we're going to display our data. So serial that print ln we have okay to display to display the character string so the parameter of serial that print ln is my data that s and then serial that print ln we have my data that d Okay, and then last is we have serial that print ln my data dot i. Okay, so since our plan is just to display it once, so we will put it in the void setup, not in void loop. So make your void loop empty or there, there is no code. So it means that if we're going to run this, it will only run once. So the question now is, if you're going to run this line of code, the question, since we have two, three print, uh, print ln or serial that print ln for this uh, three values that we have declared and assigned to int i double d and character character array s, will they be displayed all at the same time or Will it be, it will, uh, will the Arduino sketch will display only one? And then, if there is only one, which of the three declared uh, values will be displayed? And what will happen to the other two? Okay, so again, let's see what will really happen if we used union data type in our Arduino sketch. Okay, so first let us configure our board, of course, Arduino Uno, and then our port is COM3. So we're all set up, so let's verify first. So verify, it will save, so we have union. Right. For just for an example of a description that our Arduino sketch has a union data type in it. So let's save. Okay, let's wait. Okay, there are no errors. Pretty good. Okay, next is we're going to upload now and see what will happen. Okay, so it's already uploaded. So we are using serial monitor so we have to open our serial monitor okay so what happened okay arduino is correctly displayed but why is you see my data that s corresponds to the arduino and then d is the ovf and my data that i is this 29249 why is it Arduino is displayed correctly while my data that D and my data that I is composed of combination it's, it's just let it's just letters or numbers okay as you can remember in our first uh, in this uh, beginning of this video tutorial as I've already said with union it can um, uh, you can have many data types that you want inside a union but its distinguishable character is that it will only store one data at a time. Specifically, it will store, well, let's go back to our Arduino sketch, it will store the last uh, data. So it means uh, my data that I and my data that D is overwritten by my data that S. So example, you've declared my data that I is equal to 42. And then next, uh, since this is sequential, my data that D, it means 
mydata.i is already overwritten by by the mydata.d. And then since you have the third um, data type to be stored inside the union, so we have this one. Um, this mydata.s has overwritten mydata.d. Okay, so what if we change the order? So since, as you can see with our serial monitor, again, the, the, the correct data is the character RAS. It means that this is declared last. Okay, let's change the order. Okay, let's make this um, first to be assigned. Okay. Okay, so let's see what will happen. Again, let's... Um, Okay, let's see. Let's run it. Uh, let's upload it again and let's see if our theory is correct. Okay, so let's see again our serial monitor. Okay, what have you noticed? Okay, in our program, the last, the last value is 3.14. So that's why 3.14 is correct while our... Uh, my data that s which is Arduino is composed of symbols and letters and then our that i is again a different value okay so last demonstration so let's make it our um, our last data to be my data that i okay let's cut it and then, and then, okay, and paste again. So, my data that I is the last value. Again, let's upload it. Okay, then let's see again our serial monitor. So, as you can see, since our last data is the my data that I, it is stored correctly. So, for uh, my data that D, so though it's near 3.13, but still it's still a wrong, it's still a wrong data because it's should be 14 as as already um, shown in my data that D that is stored. And while our string is only composed of an asterisk, so by means of this demonstration, you can already know that union data type only stores the last value that is assigned to its data type. So, I hope that you learned something about the union data type. And then, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment below. And again, thank you very much. And of course, please like my YouTube channel. So, again, let's see, let's see you again in our other and my other video tutorials so thank you very much and good day